Hey YouTube, it's time for another Fish Room Update, January 2016. Let's get started. Alright YouTube, it's Brian again, coming back at you with another update video. Hadn't done one yet in January, uh, and we're getting towards the end of the month here, so I thought I would do that. Um, we'll start up here uh, with the discus tank. This is a 150 gallon discus tank that's out in my uh, family room, living room, entertainment room, whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty happy with the way <clears throat> things are going in here. I kind of like the hardscape that I uh, came up with and I was going to put some plants kind of in the middle of the driftwood. Um, I was thinking about uh, some some big clumps of java fern, but um, for the time being at least I've decided against it and I just kind of like the uh, um, hardscape only look, no plants. Uh, the discus are all doing well, we'll kind of come up close here, let you take a look. These are all wild discus, uh, three different types, um, I've got blue madeira, green tefe, and um, brown kometka I believe it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, things are going well with this tank. It's fun to watch. Um, not a whole lot else to report on this tank. I moved um, these uh, Harlequin Rasboras over. They were in the office in the 90 gallon. But yeah, things are going well here. Um, enjoy having these discus out uh, in the family room so that I can kind of enjoy them during the evening when I'm out here watching TV and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, things are going well here. I guess we'll move on over into the office real quick and then we'll take you downstairs. So I don't remember in my last video what I had in this tank for sure, if I had already moved these guys up here, but uh, the reddest latest are up here now, and they're doing well. A um, couple things with these latest, um, I had, as, as you know, from for months and months I've had trouble getting these guys to, to um, get along and, and do any type of breeding or anything like that so I divided them for several months downstairs so I divided them for a long time to let her heal up and everything and she started laying eggs on a regular basis um, on a rock in, in the tank downstairs but um, you know he wasn't able to fertilize them ever so I decided to move them up here um, and right away um, they started showing really good spawning behavior. Her tube had gone all the way down. I thought they were going to spawn. Um, they didn't. Um, he started getting a little rough on her and things didn't go well. Well, in the meantime, I had also picked up a second or a third, this latest, thinking it was possibly a female but not knowing from sure, for sure from my buddy James Randall and uh, put him in here and the male or him or her whatever um, and the ma and this big male um, just really got after that fish so I removed it. Uh, a little bit later um, my buddy Mike Mann was over and we kind of took a look at it. I um, think it's probably a male so so then what I was going to do, because she had kind of gotten beat up a little bit, I was going to put her and that other S latus together, but I just didn't get around to it, and well, as time went on, these guys, he kind of quit picking on her. Also, um, I've got a pot in here that she can fit into, and he can, he can, which I actually had in the other tank, but she could never figure it out. She started figuring it out, so she's able to hide from him if he does get rough with her. And, you know, she's pretty much recovered from all of her injuries, and actually her tube's coming down again. They're hanging a lot out together in this pot, and he hasn't been as rough with her. They're, they're barring up nicely. 
Um, you know, I'm not expecting anything, but keeping my fingers crossed a little bit, I guess. We'll see what happens. But I really enjoy having these guys up here. He's He's got a great personality, a lot of attitude. Um, she kind of does, too. And what I also, uh, the, the, as you can see, the loaches are in here now, too. Uh, what I also did is I, uh, um, Mike brought over some umbies, um, a bunch of umbies for me to use as dithers, uh, grow outs that he didn't need anymore. I think that's really helped the situation out as well. Um, gives him something to, you know, um, consume his mind with versus always just her. Um, and in the meantime, two of these zombies have really started to become looking like they could be really nice ones. This one and this one right here really um, seem to be kind of coming into their own, so we'll see what happens there. But anyway, that's what's going on there. Alright, so we'll head downstairs. And first thing I'll show you here is one of my new fish. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or in, um, in the aquatic support community or Amphilophus co uh, Connection Facebook groups, uh, you'll, you'll have seen him a little bit. Put up some pictures and some video. This is my Midas. This guy is awesome. Bought him from a local guy, Boon Lee. Um, He's 11 inches, um, not exactly sure on his age, uh, I know how to find out, this this fish is um, fry, or not, he's not fry anymore, but he came from Scott Hoover's Midas Jr., if any of you guys know who that is, so I know Scott can tell me about how old he would be, um, I'll hit him up on that so that I can keep my records, but this guy is just awesome. Um, Honestly, never really thought that I would want a Midas with this type of uh, pattern and coloration, but man, I, I saw the pictures w when uh, the guy had them for sale, and I just couldn't pass it up. Thought about it for about a week or so, and then just decided I had to pull the trigger on this guy. Really fun fish to have, really enjoying it. So, um, that's what's going on there. The one Midas male that I have left is actually still in this tank for now. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. He hides. He spends most of his time now hiding behind that pot. Um, this one will chase him around, but he hasn't injured him at all in any way yet that I've seen. So I'll probably end up uh, moving that Midas. He's nice too. Very nice actually. More of a yellowish orange than the kind of reddish orange, but either way. If you're looking for a nice male, he's probably seven to eight inches. Uh, hit me up and we can work something out. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. Up above, we still got the Spectabilis. Um, I've decided I'm gonna get around to moving these on too. I just haven't really done anything about it yet. Um, the male's looking great. He just can't stop picking on her, so I've got him divided. She's still working on healing up from the last time that he um, went after her. Um, pretty much just uh, decided that Spectabilis, I've had him for a while, enjoyed him, and I'm gonna move on to something else. So I'm gonna be uh, looking to get rid of these guys too if anyone's interested, hit me up. Uh, behind here, um, I've got um, some more umbies. These are grow outs from War Paint, actually. Um, as you guys might remember, War Paint was an Umbia that I had, and I, uh, he went back to Mike. And, uh, these are the one spawn that, that it had, that War Paint had. I don't know if it's the one spawn, but it's the one set of fry that he had kept, and he was looking to, he didn't need them anymore, so he sent them home with me last time I was over there. So we'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm gonna do anything with these guys, grow them out, or grow some out, or not, I'm just not kind of 100% sure that I want to put the time back into, uh, you know, trying to find and raise another Umbi pair, but you never know. Down here is um, 
one of the motas that I've had for a while. Try to find him. He's always hiding. Um, oh, he's behind the pie. I don't know if you can see through the hole there, but I put some 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 more of the umbies that Mike sent uh, or brought over a few weeks ago in here as dithers. Um, he's killing them off one by one. But uh, not much to see in this tank, actually. We'll talk more about motas in a minute. Uh, we'll head over here to my F1 umbi pair, um, Halen and Kama. He's looking beautiful, so is she. They've got uh, free swimmers in this tank. Um, had a lot more a week ago. They're slowly either picking them off or letting them die or getting sucked into the filter. I'm not sure what. Haven't pulled any of them or anything like that. But, uh, but yeah. These guys are doing well. He's got a split tail that um, is slowly growing back. Real nice trailers on this guy. I said that this was my F1 pair. I take that back. She's actually wild caught. Lip locking going on there. That'll be all right. Thorson is down below. This is an F1 Umbi. You can see he's alone right now. They had spawned about a week ago. Uh, made it to Wigglers. She was guarding the Wigglers, and I didn't see it happen. But uh, one day I came down, and her eye was really messed up, and also her lips looked like they were lip locking. And he he gave her a good shot in the eye, probably. Um, she is over here in a QT tank right now, treating her with uh, Paragard as per what Conway told me to do. And see her in the back, giving her daily baths, and then feeding her some medicated uh, power feed. I can't remember the med offhand that he told me to use, but it's in the first aid uh, kit that you can buy through Aquatic Support Systems. She thrashed off the intake there on the on the filter, but we still got a sponge filter in there. Um, so yeah, I had soaked uh, soaked some power feed in. Uh, in um, in a mixture of uh, water and a med, and then let it dry out, and uh, so you got some instant medicated food. Pretty sweet. All right, over here. Sorry, this tank isn't lit very well right now. I had some light issues, and I'm waiting on a part um, to come in. Um, but uh, what I've got here is uh, six heterospilus. Um, the two I had, I moved up here, and I picked up four more from a local guy here, Bob Randall. And I decided just to try them in a group. And honestly, I really digging it. They they almost kind of school together. Um, and uh, it's been kind of neat having them all in this tank together like this. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we get some spawning out of them. Um, not really sure what the male to female ratio is. Oh, and I haven't seen this guy in quite some time. You may remember this is my old fest the fest were in this tank. I'm just noticing now that the one lone fest fry is getting to be about an inch. He's out swimming around, so we'll keep uh, our eyes on him and see how he does over the years or over the months. See if he makes it. Uh, down below we got the lion's eye. Um, I put a divider in. Both females are on this side. And then I picked up a male from Mike. Um, got a lot of fish from Mike lately. Um, but uh, um, he's a little bit smaller than the two, what we think are females over on this side. Um, over on the other side, I should say. 
I've got some more umbies in here as dithers. But um, he's nice, real nice fish. Well, he's a little skittish right now, sorry. Sorry about the micro bubbles too, the filter's acting up. But, uh, so we'll see what we get out of this. Um, hopefully we can get some lion's eye spawning at some point. The other female, I'm not sure where she's hiding. Oh, I can see her reflection. She's over on the side of the flower pot there. So, that is what's going on there. Um, down here we've got my other Moda that I had for a while along with the other is latest that I told you I picked up from James and then the one lion's eye that I had that had the tail damage which I'm thinking is also a, a male but I'm not sure yet um, they're just kind of all in this tank as a holding tank right now before I figure out what I'm going to do um, up here is actually a couple of new motors that I picked up recently uh, Got a definite female, and then another one that I think is a male, but of course they're both hiding right now. Uh, this female I picked up from uh, the Randalls, and um, I don't know, it's four to five inches long, really nice coloring, and uh, you're just going to have to believe me on that. Um, and then, oh, here's the one that we think is a male. He's in the pot here. Likes to hide behind it usually, though, so I don't know if we can get it there. So we'll see how that turns out. <clears throat> anyway, I won't waste your time there. Um, you know, the crystal shrimp tanks are all right here. Um, doing well. I'll do longer shrimp updates coming up. You can see hundreds of shrimp in the um, S grade tank. Quite a few crystal blacks. This colony's really been really been blooming. The high grade crystal red doing well. PRL, um, haven't seen any babies yet, but a couple of buried females, so that's a good sign. And then the thing I'm most excited about right now is the Taiwan bees. Um, I've had a couple sets of babies. Uh, the other day, just doing a quick count, I counted um, over 35 little babies. You can see a few of them right up front here. Um, I've had some pandas, some blue bolts, some wine reds come out of these. Um, adults are all doing well in here too. Oh, there's the extreme BKK out. But yeah, like I said before, I'll do a, uh, another shrimp update soon, actually, since I haven't done one in January. This is my other Taiwan B tank. This is the ones I got from Blue Crown Aquatics, and then these are the ones I got from Daryl DET Aquarium. Um, and then over here, um, Royal Blue Tigers. Got some babies in there. Um, Red Tigers. We'll talk more about those in the shrimp update. Carbon Rillies and low grade CBS right here. And I forgot to do these tanks. Um, actually, um, another really cool addition. <clears throat> I decided to get me a flower horn. This is a red magma. I haven't named this guy yet, but really having fun with him. He's got a lot of attitude and really fun fish. He's in here with a bunch of uh, umbies. When I say that I, I got a bunch of umbies from Mike uh, to use his dithers, I, I wasn't kidding you. He had tons and tons of them that he's looking to get rid of, so I've got a bunch of them now. Looks like he's killed a couple. There's one carcass down there, but yeah, this guy's awesome kind of been working with him. He's a little shy, but not too bad. Um, when I say shy, only when I put my hand right up against the glass. Otherwise, he's usually swimming around with gusto. He's kind of the most still I've seen him, really, since I've had him. I mean, he wasn't in the tank more than five minutes, and he was all over the place, swimming around. 
he's hungry right now since he's up at the top like that, but he's already been fed today. First time I've had one of these flower horns. Um, kind of feels a little weird getting to know a fish that I know is a hybrid and they're created that way, but coloration on these things and it's just something different to do once in a while. You gotta do you gotta mix it up. So yeah, that's him. Um, oh, here's Maggie, and her eyes still looking bad. We'll see what happens there. Not cool. Not cool at all. Hoping I don't lose this fish. But she's still hanging in there. Um, I've got two left of the uh, Trimac Fry. This guy here has just really been growing and he's killed everything off. I had 10 or 15 in here. Um, you know, he may have even killed the last one now. I don't see the other one swimming around. Like one a day in the last couple of weeks, he's been picking them off. I was gonna bring a bunch of them to our local auction, but by the time auction day rolled around, there was only two or three left, so I didn't even bother. In here is another uh, male moda that I got when I got the other one I was just telling you about. And um, he got thrashed really bad, so I put him in a hospital tank. He's back in the pot there. He should come around. And then uh, my uh, Midas grow-ups. Getting to be about an inch or a little bit more. If you need some Midas grow-ups, these are true Midas. Let me know. And then up here, what's left of my Spectabilis grow outs. I got rid of some of them at my local auction here last weekend. And then some uh, Sequia, I believe it's pronounced, that I had in the lower tank before. Um, I've just got them mixed in here. I'm just kind of seeing what's going to happen with all these. So, But yeah, that's really it for now, guys. Um, I'll leave you with another shot of this new Midas. Thanks, uh, you know, thank you to all the subscribers, first of all, that, that watch my channel and watch my videos. Um, I really appreciate you guys all. Um, I like I like your comments. I like interacting with you guys. Um, so keep that up. And again, I thank you. Make sure you check out Aquatic Support Community on Facebook. Get involved in that group. If you've got any fish or fish equipment to sell, um, make sure you do it through uh, Fish Keepers Classifieds page on Facebook. Real good place to buy and sell fish. And uh, make sure as always that you check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Uh, their YouTube channels will be listed below. Well, I hope everyone's having a good new year so far. Thanks for watching and until next time, later.